Good morning. Welcome to Today on a Tuesday morning. I'm Matt Lauer. I'm Ann Curry from Meredith. Good morning, everybody. That crash of a U.S. fighter jet happened overnight in the city near the city of Benghazi. The cause was likely mechanical, Matt. Now, there are reports that the pilots ejected and that one crew member has been recovered. The other is what they're saying in the process of being recovered. Let's get right to NBC's Pentagon correspondent, Jim Mikoshevsky. Mick, what can you tell us? Matt, you're right. Search and rescue efforts continue for one of two crew members who were aboard that U.S. Air Force F-15 Eagle uh, when it crashed east of Benghazi in Libya overnight. They were on a routine mission uh, enforcing that no-fly zone when apparently the F-15 experienced some kind of mechanical difficulty. The pilots could not save the aircraft. It crashed into a field. The two safely ejected. Now, one of the crew members was recovered shortly after the plane went down. The other, as you can imagine, since they were widely separated after their chutes deployed, was actually uh, not taken into custody, but, uh, but uh, taken into the care of some of the opposition forces. He has since separated from those forces, is in contact with search and rescue crews, and they expect that he should be recovered shortly. Uh, it's believed that that second crew member, who is still on the ground there in Libya, suffered some kind of minor injuries. Uh, the first crew member, who was recovered safely, is reported to be in good condition, Matt. All right, Mick, just to reiterate, though, it seems like this was a mechanical failure as opposed to hostile fire. Right. There's no evidence at all that there was any hostile fire in the, in the area at the time. All right. Jim Mikoshevsky at the Pentagon for us this morning. Mick, thank you as always.